CNN reports that a Chinese police detective turned whistleblower has given shocking details about how Chinese guards torture Uyghur Muslims in prison camps in China. Speaking from exile in Europe, the former detective said police officers armed with rifles would go to Uyghur communities in China's Xinjiang region and pull people from their homes. The people would be handcuffed, hooded, and told they'd be shot if they resisted. Men, women, and children as young as 14 would then be taken to interrogation centers where they would all be kicked and beaten until they were bruised and swollen, kneeling on the floor and crying. The former detective, called Jiang, told CNN some guards would use iron bars to hit the detainees, while others used chains with locks. He added that some guards saw it as work, while others were just psychopaths. He said prisoners would be shackled to special chairs to immobilize them. Detainees would also be hanged from ceilings, gang-raped, electrocuted, and subjected to waterboarding until they confessed to crimes of supporting terrorism.